Everyone out there, hello and welcome back. So far, I just want to personally thank everyone watching my coverage of Street Fighter VI on DSP Gaming. I've really enjoyed the game so far, although I'm not great at it. I feel like I'm learning, I'm trying. You guys have been an amazing audience the last day and a half. Let's keep that momentum going tonight as I try out my fourth character in Street Fighter IV. Excuse me, Street Fighter VI. Um, what I've been doing is kind of alternating back and forth. I've been playing a classic character, then a new character, then a classic character. So tonight... It's time for a new character. Tonight, we're trying out Lily. I believe she's supposed to be the daughter of T-Hawk. So let's give her a go and see what she's all about. Let's check out her basic fundamentals. How to play Lily. With powerful throws and moves that make use of her trusty war clubs, Lily is not to be underestimated. She can enhance her special moves by enveloping herself in wind. Use her war clubs to shut down your opponent's mobility and use a combination of forward moving unique attacks and charging moves to make your approach. After you closed in, use your versatile array of normal kicks to create openings to break through an opponent's guard with devastating throws or aerial attacks. Condor Wind powers up your special moves, creating new ways for you to open up opponents. So it's kind of a buff similar how we saw that uh, e Honda had a buff like that as well and that Blanc is do a level 2 super to level up his electric attacks. Okay. Condor Wind. Twirl your clubs above your head to summon and envelop yourself in wind. This will grant you one wind-clad stock, which powers up certain special moves. This move engulfs you with the power of the spirits, making you wind-clad. Your body will be enveloped in wind, enhancing your special moves. Try to use this whenever it looks like you have an opening. If you use the light one, you're going to all you're doing is envelop yourself in wind, but if you do it with medium or heavy, you envelop yourself with wind and then throw out an attack afterward. A handy tool while dealing with those who try to prevent you from becoming wind clad, not to mention useful in combos. Thank you to Nathan, who just did a uh, gifted membership and it went to Mild Cat. Congrats, Mild Cat. And uh, Dylan, thank you for another super chat here. Okay. Thank you very, very much uh, for everyone for your support of Street Fighter 6 so far. I really appreciate it. Okay, continuing on. If you hold the button, you can become wind clad up to three times. Try to make it look like you're winding up for medium or heavy attacks and surprise them by taking a second charge instead. If you hold the bu- oh, I already just read that. <laughs> with overdrive, envelop yourself with wind and unleash a swift attack. So that's an instant charge and also attack afterward. If you hold the button, you'll envelop quickly and, uh, and move immediately after, making it safe to use even when close to your opponent. See that? Okay. So if you hold the button on the overdrive version, it's safer. You can move right after. Condor Spire. Leap into the air and charge forward while remaining low to the ground. Useful as a way of approaching from distance. This move will let you get you go close to the opponent. Okay. Close to the opponent while attacking. It's super handy. Try using it in such that it doesn't quite hit your opponent and throw them instead. Best to use it when you're just in range. It's safer that way. So it looks like you can combo, right? Or you could use it to kind of land in front and then throw. Maybe there's another move she can use instead of the throw. I don't know if she has, like, a, a reversal type move. I'll have to see. If you use it while wind clad, you'll get to act first, even if it gets blocked. That means you'll be able to keep your offense going, and needless to say, it's pretty darn strong. So, basically, if she's wind clad, she's safe on block, and she can keep attacking. Interesting. Overdrive. The move, the move executes faster, and it charges forward faster as well. It's way faster. That's, like, double speed. See that? Wow, and it goes through fireballs. So, the overdrive version goes through fireballs. Okay. It doesn't leave you very vulnerable after, so it's pretty handy even if just for closing the distance. Keep a close eye on how much space is between you and your opponent and use it whenever you get to be enhanced. Cool. So essentially, if you're keeping your eye on the prize here, you pretty much can stop zoning altogether. People trying to zone you with fireballs are not going to be very effective against her. If you use it when wind clad, it becomes invincible to an opponent's projectiles. Can you believe it? And we just saw that. Okay. So it's the wind clad that makes it invincible. Got it. So she needs to be wind clad and then do the EX and then it'll pass through fireballs. Tomahawk Buster. Use the momentum of swinging your arms to diagonally leap into the air with a tackle. It is invincible against jumping attacks, making it useful as an anti-air. This is exactly the same as the rising hawk that T-Hawk had in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I believe. Let's check it out. The moves great against jumping opponents. That's exactly right. It's rising hawk. It's exactly the same animation that T-Hawk used to have. Only she does a little spin there. So it's great against jumping opponents or in close range combos. The strength of the button used will affect the damage and how far from the opponent you'll end up. The light one doesn't hurt that much, but it's easy to keep your offense going after. Okay. 
On the other hand, the heavy version will do a lot of damage, but it's tough to keep applying pressure after. The medium one kind of splits that difference. Each one has its uses, and they all do more damage when wind clad, by the way. Okay. Okay, overdrive version. It becomes invincible to throws. Now, whoa, 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 wait a second. It becomes invincible to throws. So what they're saying is the standard version is not really invincible. It'll blow through moves, but it won't be invincible to throwing. The overdrive version is. So this is the problem I was having earlier today. I was playing with E-Honda, and his wake-up is an EX headbutt, but it can be thrown. Hers cannot be thrown. So this is a good, perfect reversal to get you out of that situation. And as you can also see, you can follow up with a second Condor dive. It's a double if you do the overdrive version. Okay. That's very interesting. So it tries to gain... It, uh, it takes drive gauge to use, but it does a ton of damage, and it even does more damage if you're wind clad. So it's definitely a, tri a trick to worth having in your back pocket. Okay. Condor dive. While airborne, diagonally descend with a powerful tackle, useful for making surprise attacks from the air or as a way to counterattack someone after dodging a projectile. This also was a move that her father, T Hawk, used to have in Super Turbo. This was great for approaching an opponent or launching a surprise. It looks exactly the same as T Hawk. That said, it leaves you wide open if it gets blocked, so try to limit it in situations where you know it's going to connect. I would say you want to have it land right before. Did you see how she did it right here? So he's going to throw a fireball and she's going to hit him. But then there's this situation here. That's what you want. Because if you're landing, now you have options. You can throw. You can do that EX, or excuse me, uh, overdrive condor die, or condor, uh, whatever it's called, the raising move. You can do a lot of different things. So that's really how you, you want to use it. All, if all you want to do is approach, then use it low so it'll fall short of your opponent and does a lot of damage when you're wing clad, so try to land it when you can. Okay. The overdrive version is harder for someone to deal with if they block it. The smartest way to use this is to barely connect with an opponent's feet. Okay, gotcha. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan, for another super chat. Just so you know, I'm not reading your nonsense. Okay. <laughs> Just that. If you have a lot of time where you're able to act freely after it lands, you could take the opportunity to get wind clad using Condor Wind or something along those lines. So look at that. If you hit with it, you bounce back, you can land, and then you have a chance to go wind clad. Got it. The goal is to always be wind clad if you can. Mexican Typhoon. I believe this is going to be the command throw because I believe that's what T-Hawks what was called. Grab your opponent with both war clubs and smash them into the ground with a spinning slam useful for slipping through an opponent's guard at close range. This throw is created by Thunderhawk, exactly, a warrior of our tribe. The amount of damage it does and how much reach it has depends on the strength of the button used. Okay. The light version has the longest range, it's easier to use. The heavy version will do huge damage. That's one for breaking through someone's guard up close. And the medium version is a happy medium. The overdrive version will snatch people from further away and they'll do more damage. Ooh, I like that. She did two hits, two hits hit string. Right? And then as it was releasing, you think, oh, I'm gonna, I don't want to do anything. I might get hit. Yoink! It grabbed the EX version or Overdrive version. So that's really good in my opinion. That's great range. You'll find it's easiest to get people from this if you scout out moments when they're not expecting it. Like after making them block an attack or after jumping in at them. Breezing Hawk. And this, after the attack begins, you'll unleash a series of spinning attacks centered around your opponent. I think this is the level one super she has. It is slow to come out, but it does lots of damage and is invincible at the start. This move does lots of damage and has invincibility as well, making it a great tool for getting an opponent to back off. You'll be left wide open if it's blocked though, so only use it if you're sure it'll hit, like in a combo or from a normal move. So it's an invincible level one super that'll blow through things. Got it. Level two super, Thunderbird. Remaining in place, leap directly upwards while unleashing a series of spinning attacks, so an aerial super. It executes quickly, making it useful as an anti-air attack or as a way to turn the tables while doing lots of damage. Let's see how this is used. This one executes really quickly. It's not an... It's not. It's an anti-air move. Okay. This one executes really quickly, making it the perfect choice against opponents who jump at you. You can also use it as a follow-up against someone you've launched into the air. Make a point of trying to get this one while you're wind clad. So basically... Perfect anti-air if they're above you, which is great because some anti-airs just whiff entirely. This one goes straight up, so it'll be very useful in that regard. Or you can combo into it, but only if you've launched them. I think what they're saying is it won't hit on the ground, okay? You gotta use level one for the invincibility on the ground, level two for an anti-air. Okay. Soaring Thunderbird, the level three super. 
Thunderbird performed while airborne. This is the aerial move. She does have an aerial super. Thunderbird performed while airborne. It's primarily useful as a way to finish air combos. This version of Thunderbird can be used to perform combos from an aerial special moves, like the OD Condor Spire. Double Arrow, which is a jump attack that hits multiple times. Oh, that's cool. Is another good choice to combo into this from. So she can do... Let's see this again. It's, an, it's a cancelable version of Thunderbird. It's the same as the other Thunderbird, but it's in the air. It's a juggle into it. Now, that's interesting, but I think it uses two meters. So it'll have limited uses with the two meter use, but it might be good for, for clutch and for damage. Okay. All right, all right. Raging Typhoon. Is this the level three super? A more powerful Mexican Typhoon in which you smash your opponent into the ground twice. It can be used to slip through the opponent's guard at close range and deal tons of damage at once. This is a mighty throw passed down by one of my tribe's greatest warriors. It might not have much range. It has, like, no range. But the damage it deals is no joke. It's invincible at the start, so time it to avoid an opponent's attack and grab them. So, basically, it's completely invincible, but it's very close range. So you have to be right next to them, and hopefully they don't get do something to blow through it, and you'll grab them with that level 3 for giant damage. There it is. Look at this. Boom! That is a lot of damage, almost 50%. If you were gonna do a combo, you can deal even more damage to try using it to follow up an opponent you just hit with a special move, and it'll knock your opponent back. Okay. Fundamentals, this is what I wanna know about her, her normals and stuff. The warrior who taught me how to fight was really, really big. Yeah, Thunderhawk. Since I'm the smaller on the smaller side, I wasn't able to imitate what he showed me exactly, so I brought war clubs into the mix, and I learned that way. That's what I'll show you how to do. To start things off, don't be shy about using medium attacks. Standing and crouching medium punch pack a well punch, especially if you try to put yourself at a distance where you just barely get hit with the tip of the clubs. Use heavy attacks to not lock your opponent and halt their attack. Standing and crouching heavy punch can both be canceled to special moves. Try using Condor Spire or Condor Wind after them to control the pace of the fight. So standing, crouching medium punch, standing, crouching medium uh, fierce punch, both good moves. If you do a good job of keeping someone locked down with your clubs, they'll start trying to avoid them by jumping in place or straight at you. Use anti-air attacks to stop them as best you can and then look for opportunities to go on your offense. Tomahawk Buster is the best choice for taking down jumping opponents, but the very beginning of the crouching heavy punch will work in a pinch. If you're predicting that they'll jump, you can then get them with a double arrow and then do a follow-up, so it's aerial juggle. That's cool. It's unrealistic to expect you'll knock somebody out of the air every single time that they jump. Like it or not, there's gonna be times where someone will get in and start applying pressure on you. In times like this, use the Overdrive Tomahawk Buster to beat an opponent's throw. Or, if you're okay with using some meter, Breezing Hawk and Thunderbird both have invincibility, making them perfect tools for turning the tables on someone. Level 1 and Level 2 Supers. If your opponent sees it coming and decides to block, they're gonna put you in a world of hurt afterwards, so think carefully before making your move. Okay. Advanced 1. Let's cover how you should go about mounting an offense. If you're smart about using your techniques that move you forward, you should be able to close it on your opponent. When you see this opening, go for the throw. Use your war clubs to poke at your opponent and lock down their mobility. Then use Condor Spire at distances where it'll just barely connect and make your approach. That's the basics of how we drive into the action. Okay, that makes sense. Stay at that range where you have options. You can either do your Rising Condor, you know, overdrive version. You can do a command throw, or you can just go for another hit strength. Three options there. I almost choked on my coffee. <laughs> Using the first hit of Desert Storm is another neat option. Stop it at the first hit if it gets blocked. Or go over the rest of it connects. So this looks like a unique, uh, what do they call this, a target combo? It's called Desert Storm. So it's mid, low, high, three hit target combo. Okay, when your opponent sees you throwing out moves like these, they're sure to tighten up their guard. Interesting. When they do, close in with a Condor Spire or a dash and throw them. Once you're up close, break through their guard by doing light attacks into combos or by grabbing them with a Mexican Typhoon. Okay. <clears throat> Advance 2. You should stand a decent chance once you memorize the basics, but you'll have a lot more options to work with if you borrow the power of the spirits. Learn how to harness the wind and watch your options unfold. You can make yourself wind clad during Condor Wind, 
which you want to use when far away from your opponent or after knocking them down. The medium and heavy versions will end with an attack, so you can charge wins safely. So if you're hitting them, do the, the, the overdrive version <coughs> or the medium heavy version, and you'll get a hit and get the wing clad as well. Okay. Once you got the wind at your back, use Condor Spire to carry you towards your opponent. If you're wind clad, you'll be able to act first, even if your Condor Spire is blocked. If it hits, you'll knock them down, meaning you'll have another chance to stock up on wind. Anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. Condor Spire is really strong. Use it a whole lot. All right. If you have at least two wind clad stocks, you can do an overdrive Condor Spire into a Tomahawk Buster for serious damage. So what they're saying is the... The uh, Condor Spire is going to recover fast, so you'll land to be able to do a Tomahawk Buster after. See that? Wow. Okay, but you need two stocks to do that. Okay. Let's go to her combo uh, trials and see what we can do here. Interesting. Interesting stuff. First of all, let's look at her special moves, okay? So Condor Wind, that's how you charge. And you have the different versions. Light is just the charge, while medium and heavy are ones that will actually attack. And then the overdrive version is the faster version that attacks. Condor Spires, Fireball Motion plus Kick. That's the one that will just move forward uh, horizontally. Tomahawk Buster is your anti-air. That's a Dragon Punch. Condor Dive is two punches in the air. The overdrive version is all three punches in the air. That's interesting. That's two or three punches. And the Mexican Typhoon is actually a 360. This is the first 360 motion in the game. Really? Let's mess with this a little bit, okay? That's just light kick. That's pretty good range. You seeing the range on that? I'm pretty far away. Let's test it. That's too far. That's too far. Mm, that's pretty good range. That is definitely pretty good range. Yeah, I like that. Doesn't do tons of damage. That's the light version. What about the heavy version? Oh, hold on. That's the heavy version. Damn. That's a big chunk. I don't remember the, the, the uh, OD version. Okay. Huh? Oh, wait, do I not? Okay. Wow. That's, man, that's good range. That's good range for the OD version, for sure. That's way better. Earlier today, I was using E-Honda. His Ochio throw has terrible range. Her throw has way better range. So that's pretty darn good, I feel. Okay. So, we got this. We got this. And then the OD version is the one that's actually invincible to throws as well. And then you can combo, okay, a second hit after. If you do uh, the second the OD dive. There's the dive, okay. Hmm. The recovery is slow. The recovery is slow on that. And it's making me wonder. Can you do it jumping back? It doesn't come out jumping back. Oh no. It only comes out neutral. And forward, it doesn't come out jumping back. So there's no Condor Dive jumping back. That's kind of shitty, actually. You want to be able to back up, but then attack again? You can't do that with her. All right. There you go. So basically what you have to do is recover and instantly try to throw if you can. Or fake them out, which it didn't work that well that time. I need to learn the distance. Like that. Fake them out, because that's invincible if that comes out. Hmm. Interesting. Now, how do you charge the, uh... Okay, that's quarter circle back and punch. That's the version that attacks. Whoa. She has all these different fierce punch moves. Okay, th that's three times forward and fierce. is three different hits. That's her target combo. There we go. See? Hit, hit, hit. Practical training. You know combo trials finish 45 of them. Got an achievement for that. Hit, hit, hit. That's high, low, mid, I believe, right? So, okay. I'm trying to learn everything here. You get two and one off a fierce punch. 
Whoa. What was that? How did I do that? Okay, that's down, forward, and fierce punch does this. And I guess it's an overhead. But I'm not sure what you're supposed to do after it. Maybe 360. Ah! Overhead into 360 or... Right there, they're trying to punish it. They think, oh, they're going to do a throw. You do that instead. That's exactly what you would do right there. Okay, interesting. Um, That's the charge. That's one wing clad. It makes it much faster, multiple hits. Got to figure out how to two-in-one that. I'm sure we're going to learn right now. They're probably going to show us some combos where we can do that. Okay, it doesn't combo there. Hmm. Doesn't combo. All right, let's 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 do the combo trials. Here we go. Oops. I'm jumping heavy kick. Three hits. Let's do the combo trials and try to learn here. So, crouching medium kick into the, the dash. So, crouching medium is the two-in-one. Not crouching medium punch, but crouching medium kick is the two-in-one for combos. Okay. Crouching heavy punch into... Oh! Okay, let's try that again. See that? But you can't combo into that fierce, can you? No. But you get a wind charge when you do it that way. Okay. Three light kicks into the EX, uh, the EX, uh, Condor die. Oh, it's jabs. My bad. Oh, that's easy, too. That's an easy combo. Three low jabs into that. That's actually pretty good, I think. Okay. Punish counter. Okay, that was back and heavy. So she has all these different ones that's standing, down forward, back and heavy. She has three or four different, and that's forward and heavy. So she has like four different versions of heavy punch. Dude, that's a lot of variations. All right. So now they want me to do the drive impact, standing heavy punch into the EX rising condor, and then do the, the in the air, the condor die. Okay. There it is. Yes, Jade, we're trying Lily. She basically looks like a, a big variation on what T-Hawk was. A variation on that for sure. Okay. During a jump, heavy punch, medium kick. That's her basic combo is with that, that move. This here, Condola Rush it's called, I believe. Didn't count? Because it wasn't crouching, I see. That's great. That's an easy combo, too. During a jump... Okay, it's the jumping medium punches of the juggle. Okay, I like that. But you have to get be next to them for it to work. So it'd be a little tricky. It's not as easy as it looks. You have to go hit, hit when you're right next to them. All right. Low heavy punch into the EX uh, charge move. And then while buff, the rising condor move. Almost. There it is. Only in the corner, though. Heavy punch, punish counter, standing medium into quarter circle back, and that's the that's the condor charge move or the wind charge move. Missed it. Okay, they're trying to show you variations to combo into your charge. Okay, this is. Quarter circle back and light punch, so the charge. And then. That was the wrong button, stupid. Wow, I screwed that up. Let's try this again. Only combos when buffed, I see. It's too slow to combo without the buff. Got it. Pull the button to change the effect. Okay. I don't know. This is weird. So it looks like they want you to do the heavy punch version and then a dragon punch after with two charges. But it sucks you have to recharge it to do it. I see. That's it. 
There it is. Corner only, though. A lot of corner only combos. Down with heavy while connecting with a special cancelable move to the dash cancel. Then I want you to do this. Hold on. Hmm. Almost, but I'm probably not going to do that one, honestly. So look, it's going to be like this, basically. Her basic combo is like jab, jab, jab into that. And then you try to go for dive. And you try to do it at a range where it's going to land right in front of them. And then you can do command throw when you land. Or you could do EX condor dive. You're constantly going to be trying to do that into a move or into jab, jab, jab combo. And then basically you're going to be trying to do this to just get your charge up because it's going to make your moves better. And that's really it. So level one super. Let's try these, right? That's level one super. Level two super is what? Backwards and the punches? No, it's with kicks. Any kick. And you can do it in the air as well. And then backwards with punches is level three. So this is the anti-air. Oh, I don't have level two super. Shoot. Let's quickly go to training mode just to have the super. And I'm going to try the two supers. Then we'll go online. Okay. We're just because I gotta try the supers and see how they work. She's a little different than I expected. She's definitely a variation on T Hawk that does not really play like T Hawk. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see what we're gonna do with those dive position moves, right? Where the hell is she? Why can't I find. There she is. I couldn't find her. <laughs> it's also the first time I'm hearing this music. Davian says, Lily's too slow and complicated. People just mash, jab, and beat all her combos. Many characters suffer from this. Hmm. Okay, so I want to just figure out level two. This is level two super. No, that's level three. I did the wrong input. Level two is the two quarter circle sword and kick. And it's just a straight up move that's going to juggle. All right. So it's only, it, let's just, I'm just curious. It only hits point blank. See that? If I'm like just a little bit far away. It does have a vacuum property, but it's not. They said that this is the one that's invincible. Like, that's the one that has invincibility. Okay. And then this one, you have to be, like, right next to them for level 3 to connect. Let's see how close. What about here? Yeah, that worked. That wasn't so far away. That honestly wasn't so far away. All right. All right. So anti-air, you got to do a rising condor that's a, basically an overdrive version. You can do a standard version, but you have to do it a little or the earlier side. Doesn't really have a good standard button that's an anti-air, but she has a level 2 super that goes right up and knocks them out of the sky. She has an aerial juggle with medium punch that can be followed up with a condor dive, or a con rising condor into condor dive. Her whole goal is to try to charge and move that, use that move, the condor rush against the screen, keep them in a block stun, jab, jab, jab combos, and then try to mix it up with the throw. And then sometimes you do the empty condor dive into the throw or an EX rising condor. Okay, I get it. I just don't know how well I'm gonna implement it, but I, I get it. Let's see what we can do online. So, let's go to Lily. And should we use color one or two? Well, first of all, classic. Eh, they're both nice. And I'll go with green, because green makes me think of the power of wind. So we'll go with green. We'll change our title. Uh, here, let's do... Lightning Blitz. That actually, I like the color in the background there. Alright, character portrait. I actually like that, the diving and effect. Let's do... Oh, wow. Let's do stars in the background. Why not? But do they have green stars? No, they don't. Well, that sucks. Then we'll do blue stars. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. And everything else there is correct. Except I want to change my avatar to green since she's going to be the power of wind. And the comment will be, I just learned the controls. There you go. And avatar pose will go to a kneeling bow. Beautiful. Looks like he's about to get it right up to you know what. All right. Let's get online. <laughs> No Super Real Vibes is planning to make Street Fighter dishes for Feasting with the King. Oh, uh, no. We're not doing these Street Fighter-related dishes. King Michael says, how's Street Fighter 6? Do I like it? Yes, I do. Haseo says, I like the Minty Hawk. Yes, Minty Lily instead of Minty Hawk. There you go. 
Omar, I do like the game. But let's see what happens here. My first attempt of playing with Lily. I don't know how this is going to go. Probably going to get owned. Quite frankly. My pleasure. Immediately command drown. throw didn't come out oh interesting I bounced off oh no I did rising condor didn't come out it would have stuffed because it stuffs throws did not come out at all great Combo, even though that worked in training mode, doesn't seem to work online, and now I have no health. <sighs> Low jab into the move works the entire time I'm offline. I go to use it first match online, never works. They block it on no no problem. What the fuck? <laughs> what did I practice for? get a free throw after that. She gets a free freaking throw. What the hell? What kind of range was that? Insane range. Jesus. No combo. Why isn't it combo? It comboed offline every time. Now it doesn't combo like it doesn't work. What did I practice for? Yeah, it's stupid. It's, I do jab, jab, jab into Condor, the Condor Rush. Literally comboed every time I did it offline. They said it was a combo. I do it online. Hasn't comboed once yet. She blocks it every time. So what combo am I supposed to use if it doesn't work? And why did it work offline but not work online once? Right? <laughs> what was that? Uh, what's the point of a tutorial teaching you how to play if the move doesn't work? Here comes a new challenge. <sighs> This is the alternate outfit, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't work, and she's wide open after, so I can never do that then. So I have zero safe hit strings. I have zero safe hit strings. Zero. Because I can't ever do that move. It's not safe, even though it said it was in training. Huh.
There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do at all. She has no combos. She apparently has no safe combos at all. So I don't know how to use her now. I'm doing a hit string. What the fuck? <laughs> I was pressing buttons. It just gives him a throw through my combo. What the hell? Yeah, it doesn't work. And he gets a free move afterward. Her dive sucks. Her dive is slow as dirt. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's tear. She's pretty bad. She seems quite bad. It doesn't seem like she has any combos at all. And no hit strings that are safe. Nothing seems to work at all. Even though they taught you all this stuff in the training mode, none of it has worked so far. None of it. That's pretty bad. Why teach you stuff in training mode that doesn't work? Literally, it said just keep doing jabs into the light condo rush and it works. And it doesn't work. Pretty bad. Dive and he was able to do that? He was able to interrupt it. Jesus, the range is insane with this guy. The flash hit goes half away across the screen. I can do anything to it. I was I was trying to jump over because I saw it coming. I was just gonna jump right over it. It instantly hit me. I couldn't do anything about it at all. What the fuck? I literally couldn't do anything. It just hit me instantly. He recovers to do a flash kick. Wow, 
Why is he just mass jabbing and beats mine? I did mine fucking first. Jeez, man. Wow, he just punched it. Jeez, man. Her moves suck. Her moves are terrible. Everything interrupts them. Level 2 Super! Yes, it actually worked! That was Commando, are you fucking shitting me? I didn't do that, I did Rising Condor! I had wins, I had the win. I had the win and my move didn't come out. I did fucking Rising Condor on shit, it doesn't come out. <laughs> wow! Wow, she, she is arguably one of the hardest characters to play I've ever played in Street Fighter. Her moves all have bad priority, they're slow, they have awful recovery, and everything interrupts them. Like, you got Guile here who's getting instant charge flash kicks, like super duper fast charging flash kicks, right? I can't ever do anything to him, I can't even get close to him. It's ridiculous. She has almost no hit strings at all. None. Almost none. Oh my god. Okay, no response. I can't do anything. She just walks forward, drive impact. I have no, I, nothing I can do to it. Came out insanely fucking late. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? She's terrible. Her moves have awful priority and awful speed. He literally jumped over her twice. I couldn't hit him. I couldn't hit him as he just jumped twice. That was super. What the fuck? Can't interrupt it. He can just spam it. Nothing. No response. Look at that, her throw sucks. Her throw's right next to him and whiffs. Her range is atrociously bad. <laughs> yeah. He stuffed it. I did it. Rising Con EX Rising Condor. He stuffed it. Oh my god. Yo, she's terrible. She's got to be like bottom, bottom tier. She has to be. She absolutely has to be like ultra bottom tier in this game. I can't even get close to hitting the enemies. Every time I push a button, everything they do counter hits. 
I, I, he was attacking her. I did EX Rising Condor, the OD version that's supposed to be invincible. He kicked right through it. He kicked, he did the kick went right through it, stuffed it. What the fuck? I won around by random. It's like she has to do random moves. Seriously. She has to just throw out random moves. There's nothing else you can do because nothing really works. Doesn't work. Even the wind version didn't work. Even the fucking wind version of the move doesn't work. So why they teach you that combo and why does it not work online but it worked offline? Doesn't even make sense. Her range is so bad. Her range is fucking terrible. Her range is insanely bad. What the hell, man? I'm sitting right next to him and the medium punch is going past him. Jesus Christ. So bad. What's he doing? right next to me. so bad. She's so fucking slow. She's like a slow-mo character. get my moves that I want. I can't. I can't even get a, a basic special move that I want with her. It doesn't come out. Ugh. She seems really bad. I 
can't even block the blocking wall. <laughs> what? It's so delayed. Are you shitting me? Everything is insanely delayed. What the fuck? That was 360, I got two jabs. I don't know, I do not think she's very good at all. I do not think she's very good at all. I gotta figure something out. She just does not seem good. She's pathetic compared to like T-Hawk. T-Hawk always used to have good jump-ins that could tick, tick throw into throw setups, into re reversal setups. She has nothing. Like her jumping normals are terrible actually. And uh, she doesn't really have any tools. All her moves are too fucking slow. Unbelievable. Yes, it worked. I baited him. It was like no damage, though. Wow, he's wide open. He did a completely unsafe move. Okay. I did quarter circle back punch. He gave me that. That was the Lita Burn version. Okay. My moves just don't come out there. Stopped her? The meter version is supposed to go through. The meter version did not go through. I guess you need charge too.
Huh? I blocked! I fucking blocked! I fucking blocked and it hit me anyway. I blocked the drive impact and it hit me. Wrong move. I'm doing OD Rising Condor. That's what I'm doing. It's not coming out. What an amazing player. Seriously, what an amazing player. Hail Mary level 3 from full screen. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I'm doing what they said to do with this character. Close the space by doing that move. The move sucks. That was 360. Gives me the rising condor instead. Couldn't move. Oh. This is a ridiculously tough character to play with, seriously. <clears throat> not even again, not even close to T Hawk though. anything to it. I literally can't do anything to it. Yes! combo for no reason should not have gotten a second combo he gets a full combo why why did he get a full fucking combo for no reason He doesn't come out. Oh my god. Earns absolutely nothing. Earns absolutely zero hits of that combo. Zero. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to say about this character. She's slow. Her moves are unsafe, completely unsafe. Very low combo ability. Um. The things that they teach you in training mode don't work. Literally, training mode said three low jabs into the Condor uh, push doesn't work. Whiffs every time where they block it and they punish. So, 
I have no idea. I don't know what you're expected to do. You're supposed to like do mix-ups into the throw, but the throw doesn't work very well. And everyone is kind of mashing moves through the setup. Like there's, she doesn't seem very viable at all, quite frankly. It's, it's sad that they, I think what they were trying to do is they were trying to make a character that's T-Hawk plus, but it, they gave her slow startup time on everything and low priority. So in fact, she's worse than old T-Hawk. Like T-Hawk used to be much better than this character. And I like old T-Hawk. And it seems like she just sucks. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going. I got another hour. I'm gonna try, but she doesn't seem very promising at all. Uh, Bama did a super test. Who's your favorite Street Fighter character in the game in all time? In the game, I have no idea. I just started playing it. All time, uh, I like oddball characters. So like Blanca and Zengi or Honda uh, are the weird ones, and those are the ones I like the most. So, okay.